the rules of how to be productive, creative or just organized at work and in your daily life have completely changed over the last few months and years with the rise of AI tools. And I would know, having been on the hunt for the most efficient and time-saving habits and productivity hacks ever since. So I want to share seven AI productivity tools for normal people that are neither fancy nor do they cost a cent, but can support you with simple everyday tasks and make your life so much easier. The first one might be known to one or the other already because over 1 billion people have used this tool so far. It's available in 30 plus languages and more than 20,000 companies worldwide are using its services. In my opinion, it's the best translator that is out there and that lets you not only translate single words, but also sentences, bullets or entire documents. I'm talking about deepl.com, which I've been using for years now. And it's not just a simple translator, but uses AI powered machine translation that uses an artificial neural network to predict the likelihood of a sequence of words, typically modeling entire sentences in single integrated model. That means it's basically a smart translator that helps you to create human-like real life sentences as if a native speaker would have written them. Deeple is completely free for basic private use, but they also have other pricing plans if you want to unlock more features or have a team or company using it. Deeple can detect languages, translate in both directions, provide alternatives, show some full sentence examples, or translate entire documents in PDF, Word, or PowerPoint format. Just recently, Deeple has released a new tool in beta, Deeple Write, which helps you to optimize your text by correcting grammar or punctuation mistakes and suggesting alternatives or helps you to rephrase sentences. And this might sound very familiar to another awesome and free AI tool for everyday use, which is Grammarly. Grammarly is an AI-powered writing assistant that helps you to write mistake-free in whatever program you're working on. Also, Grammarly is quite popular, but in my opinion, still very much underestimated for the value that you get for free as an individual. You can either install the desktop app or use the Google Chrome add-in so it can review your spelling, grammar and punctuation, clarity, engagement and delivery to suggest alternatives or replacements for the mistakes that it has detected. Having install Grammarly on your desktop, you will see the small Grammarly icon popping up in the program you're currently working in. For me, that's mostly Word, PowerPoint or Outlook. The number on the icon indicates the number of improvements it has detected and once you click on it, you will see all the mistakes, a recommended alternative and the ability to accept or dismiss it. The free version of Grammarly covers correctness and clarity, but to improve engagement and delivery, you need to upgrade your plan. The Google Chrome extension works very similarly. Having installed the extension, the Grammarly icon with its suggestions will appear whenever you're writing on a website, which could be LinkedIn, Twitter, Gmail, WhatsApp or Facebook. The next AI tool is embedded into another popular productivity tool, which is Notion. You might know Notion as being one of the best and most well-known note-taking tools that allow you to not only take notes, create dynamically linked databases, but also connect to other tools or programs. In addition to those commonly known features, Notion has introduced Notion AI, an AI-powered writing assistant directly embedded with the tool's other functions. The advantage here is that you do not need to jump back and forth between any other third-party AI tool and your notes in Notion. But Notion AI works in Notion with all of the information that is already available there. Notion claims that with Notion AI, you will be able to work faster, write better and think bigger. Having used Notion AI now for quite a while, I can tell it's true. If you have an overview of Notion AI's capabilities and how it works, it can truly support your daily life and make it easier and tasks less tedious. So let's take a look at the three use cases of how Notion AI can support you. First, to work faster. In Notion, you have the ability to access all Notion AI features by pressing space. Some ways it helps you to work faster are by summarizing very long meeting notes, creating tables or action items, or transforming 
transforming long form text into short bullets. Second, Notion AI helps to write better with a whole range of functions to edit or review a page or paragraph in Notion. You're able to improve the writing in general, fix spelling and grammar, translate a paragraph or even change the tone into a more formal, friendly or casual one. And finally, Notion AI helps you to think bigger. You can write prompts to write a creative story or essay, but also to help you brainstorm ideas, for example, for a marketing campaign or activities for the next team event. It's not only that Notion AI helps you to work faster, better and be more creative, but it also takes some typing work off your shoulders. But imagine that you did not only have such a writing assistant in Notion, but in all your other commonly used programs at work. No need to type long emails, proposals or contracts manually anymore, but you would have an AI powered writing assistant at your disposal anytime. You could even move around in your office and still be working because you would just dictate whatever you want to write down and it would appear in your document as if by manual. Magic. That could be your reality by using Microsoft's Dictate function, which is available in all text-based Microsoft programs such as Word, PowerPoint or Outlook. As the name suggests, the Dictate function lets you dictate sentences or bullets which are automatically written down in the document. And it works pretty well. You can change the language and enable auto punctuation via the settings or insert punctuation, edit or format the text navigate within the document or create lists or tables just with a few spoken commands. Action items from the meeting. Create bullet list. Align with legal counsel. Next line. Adjust wording of the contract. Next line. Once you have written your text, either by yourself or with the help of Notion AI, Deeple or Grammarly, for example, it's still not certain that this is easy to understand and to comprehend. In general, you should always aim for simple language that everyone can understand, few foreign words and no complex grammar. That will help you to get your message across and make it accessible to many people. Another AI tool that helps you with that is called Hemingway. There's a browser and a desktop version of that app that helps you to improve your writing and readability. In particular, it highlights lengthy, complex sentences and common errors. So if you want to check your text, just copy and paste it into the browser app and see what Hemingway suggests on the right hand side. It indicates an overall readability score that is better the lower. Below, it suggests how many adverbs you're using, if you use passive voice, if your phrases have simpler alternatives and how many of the sentences are hard or very hard to read. The text is then highlighted in the same color so you can rephrase it to simplify and get a better score. Moving away from pure text to a more visual way of packaging via presentations. One of the most common tools to create presentations is PowerPoint, but often it is difficult to come up with appealing slides that do not only deliver a great message, but also look nice and appealing to the audience. Microsoft has a solution for that, namely the built-in PowerPoint Designer. This is a tool that is available for all Microsoft 365 users directly in PowerPoint and helps you to optimize your slides or suggest professional looking slides once you start creating a new presentation. The designer either pops up right from the beginning and lets you choose a PowerPoint design or you can activate it via the design tab under designer. Once you add text, shapes or pictures and start to rearrange a slide, the designer suggests different slide layouts on the right hand side. If you don't like any of them, you can even request to see more design ideas. Once you click on a design, it will be applied to the slide and you can continue to change or add text. Theoretically, you could fully rely on the designer and just insert a bunch of text and maybe some pictures or screenshots without thinking about the layout at all. Afterwards, you could just run the designer and let it recommend nice designs that you can use such that you would not have to be bothered about layout, but purely focus on the content. Well, I'm not saying that this will result in a perfect presentation, but it's certainly a way to come up with a great presentation from scratch 
in very limited time. And finally, there's ChatGPT. But don't just click away because you think you have heard already every single use case of ChatGPT. I bet not yet. As I said, I want to show AI tools for normal people that should support and not hinder you in your daily work so you can finish earlier or get more done in the same time. So yes, ChatGPT is an awesome tool that can seemingly do everything. But here are eight super useful and practical quick tips on how ChatGPT can help you in your daily job. First, it can summarize long text or meeting minutes in just a few bullets. In addition, you could ask ChatGPT to come up with concrete action items, responsibilities and deadlines based on the summary that you have provided. Further, you could use ChatGPT to write entire documents. That could be a cover letter for your next job application, a job description if you're looking for new employees or colleagues, or an employee evaluation that is based on just a few prompts that you're feeding the tool with. ChatGPT can also give you a second opinion if you're looking for someone to challenge your ideas. It could also enhance your research and give you even more ideas or expand on your initial ones and make them more concrete. Also, you could get inspiration from ChatGPT on the next recruiting campaign you want to launch or any other topic you want to brainstorm. Finally, you could also let the tool rephrase sentences or whole paragraphs if you're not happy with them or let it change the tone of the wording such that it becomes more corporate or sales driven. Getting used to those AI tools will certainly make your life so much easier. But if you want to become even more productive with very little effort, you should watch this video next where I show you the most essential keyboard shortcuts that take seconds but will save you hours and days over your professional life.